The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's Visitor Center opened its doors in February of 2012. With five state-of-the-art galleries showcasing efforts around the globe and here at home, visitors will get a real sense of how they too can make a gigantic difference. We saw firsthand with our guide, Davida Ingram, all of the interactive galleries and learn how the Gates Foundation isn't going after easy issues, rather tackling the biggest problems facing the world today. The first thing I noticed when I walked into this spectacular building, I looked up and I saw all these faces looking down at me. It's a sea of faces, yes. and it shows you who we're working with all around the world. There are hundreds of them, and one of the big missions of the Gates Foundation is to make sure that all lives have equal value and that everyone has an opportunity to live a healthy and productive life. And you know, I was not aware of what I was going to experience here, and at first look I said, this is very interactive. The Visitor Center is really interactive. So when you walk through, we have four main galleries, and they're all set up to educate, motivate, and inspire. What a great goal, and you're doing a great job at it. Can you walk us through the four different galleries, just give us an overview, and then I know I've had you pick out the top five things that you like, and we're gonna go and do some interactivity. For sure. Okay. So in our family and foundation gallery, we're really interested in what people want to do to make a difference. So we even have an exhibit called Your Foundation. Where you go in and you say, what would you do? Exactly. Well, you got me over here at the keyboard. And this exhibit is designed for you to imagine what if you wanted to start your own foundation. Okay. You type your idea in, and when you're done, you press share. Okay, so I'm going to do mo motiv motivate, educate, and where am I? See, I'm not a good computer guy. And inspire. And then how do I do? Press my idea right here? Yeah, go for it. Press to share your idea. And then it goes right out into the world. And there it is. So there it is, large as life. We keep what's entered, and it's there for other people to see. This is really impressive. Our partnership gallery, it's designed to really highlight the amazing work that's being done by our partners. We also have a place where we show you that some of the problems that we work on are quite complex. And so we leave space for you to explore them almost like puzzles. This portion of the Closer Look exhibit is called Agricultural Development. Okay. So flip the levers and let's see what happens. Okay, so I guess this is the wheel and I turn it, oh, and nothing's really going on, is there? It's true. So one of the things that needs to happen is that we need to see the things that farmers need. So each lever represents something that a farmer might use. Well, let's work together. All right. Okay, so we need soil. Go ahead. All of a sudden, oh yeah, now the gears are turning. Another thing that farmers need? Water. Exactly. And then seeds. Oh yeah, see, then it just gets right in there. Now, now we're making something. Yeah, things are happening. And our effort is at three now. And now we're at four. All over the world, there are people who are hungry and it's estimated to be over a billion and many of them are farmers. So we put this exhibit here to give that problem some life. You put it all together, you work together and things happen, don't they? The gears start turning. I love it. You can also design things in the Innovation and Inspiration Gallery. And that is a gallery that's an interactive media lab that's also filled with innovations that help make life easier in places where it's challenging. There are many things to do here, but we're gonna take a moment to check out our photo booth. Okay, and I get to show my card and take a picture? Come down a little bit lower. You'll see your face. That's perfect. There you go. All right, and then the great thing is that once it's done, your portrait is gonna pop up on our screen in our innovation and inspiration. Now I'm big time, that's right. There I am, right up there. We want people to feel like problems that exist in the world can be solved. So we show examples of innovations. So for example, we're standing just around the corner from a bed net, which is the lion in the fight against malaria. That's right. So every 45 seconds, we can save a life. So philanthropy is giving back to humankind, and our job is to see how we can look at neglected issues and deliver impact whenever we can. Can you show us one of your favorites in here? Let's try the Inspire Others exhibit. Okay. Just touch it with your finger. I'll just go for the graffiti. So we'll design a poster in less than 30 seconds. It says we can make a difference now, and I think that should be bold and bright. So now I can add it to the gallery. Gotta love that. Do. All right. Now, you had me sign a little paper a little earlier about what I wanted to do. Where, where, where does that fit in? There's an exhibit that's really popular called Share Your Cause. I wrote down educate, inspire, and give back with an exclamation point, and I signed my name here. See, that's perfect. Are you going to hang it on the tree? Sure am. Oh, here it is. And this is where your card is going to inspire, most likely a perfect stranger. So go ahead and hang it on the tree. 
Okay, and I can just put this anywhere? You can put your card wherever you like. And then what's even better is that you get to take a memory from the visitor center, so please pick a card from the tree. Let's see here, looking around. Oh, I like this one, you know, because I just had my uh, little son, so this is big to me. Happy and safe children. Is that a good one? I'm glad you picked it. Yeah, and I feel really inspired by this. So whoever did this, thank you so much, because, you know, this is very important to all of us. The thing that I wanted to tell you about is the footprints. And they look like muddy footprints, like, like someone was walking in the mud. Yeah, and they're actually modeled on a woman's foot. Well, the footprints are leading somewhere, and, and we're there to these buckets here. They absolutely are. Welcome to our Walking for Water exhibit. One thing that we always tell people is that quite often it's women and children who are walking for water, and I felt like you want to inspire others so you can show what it's like to walk for water. This is actual the weight, the actual weight that they're carrying. It's modeled on two gallons, which is about 16 pounds. So if you like, stand on either Hold side of those card. buckets. Hold my card. I don't want to lose that. Okay, pick them up. Oh, come on, really? No, is it really that heavy? It is. And yeah. those little girls on, in the exhibit, it definitely lets you know that there are young people who are walking with heavy water. Yeah, you know, sometimes people need to really have something tactile and feel it to really understand what's going on. Absolutely. And this is a great exhibit. Thank you so much for this tour. Thank you, Patrick. I really enjoyed touring you. And you're inspiring, and you're making a difference in the world and in people's lives as individuals, which changes everything, doesn't it? It can. And thank you so much for being here with us. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.